if we are given um, the coordinates of a circle in general form and we have to convert it back to standard. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to group the X's, the X family, sorry, kind of X family members together. And then we're going to group the Y family together. Okay. And then from there, what we're going to do is we're going to move, um, move the constant, that's the number without a variable, right? To the right side of the equation. Okay, we're going to move it to the right side. Then we are going to complete the square for each x and y, for both x and y, and then we will factor to put it in to change the form, to put it in that um, standard form. Okay, it sounds like a lot, but once you do it a couple times, it's really pretty easy. Okay, let's look at the first one. We're going to group our x's together and our y's together. So I'm going to put my x squared first and then my negative 8x second. I don't have, uh, then I'm going to do plus y squared and I don't have a y value. So I'm just going to keep that as y. And then I'm going to move this 7 to the other side. So it's negative 7 over here. Okay, so I've grouped my x's together. Let's go back and look at the steps. I've grouped my x's together, I've grouped my y's together, and I've moved the constant to the right side. Now I need to complete the square for both x and y. Okay, so let's look at how to complete the square. Let's see, hopefully you learned how to do this. But what you want to do is you want to take the middle term, or the 8, the, that's in the coefficient in front of the x term, and you want to half it and square it. So half of 8 is 4, 4 squared is 16, and that will complete the square for the x. The y doesn't have a constant, so we don't have to do anything to it. Okay, now what we just did is we added 16 to this equation. You can't just add 16 to the left side of an equation and still expect it to be an equation, so we have to add it to the right side. So we're going to add 16 to the right. So, so far we have x squared minus 8x plus 16 plus y squared is equal to negative 7 plus that 16. So we just added 16 to both sides. Now what we're going to do is we're going to factor. Factor to change form. So we've got to take this trinomial and factor. Well, as you can see, what we've just created is a perfect square trinomial. It's going to be x minus 4 times x minus 4 or x minus 4 squared plus y squared equals, well, negative 7 plus 16 is positive 9. Okay, now we have it in standard form. The x quantity is squared, the y quantity is squared, and we have a radius. So our center is 4, 0, because there's nothing added to the y, and our radius is the square root of 9, which is 3. Okay, so that's how we do it. Now let's try it when we have a few more elements to work with. Okay, so number nine, we're going to put x squared plus 4x together plus y squared minus 6y, put the y parts together, is equal to, I'm going to move this 3 to the other side, so positive 3. Now we've got to complete the square. So I'm going to take this 4, which is the coefficient to the linear term for x, and I'm going to half it and square it. So I'm going to add 4 right here. But if I add 4 to the right, I have to add it, or if I add it to the left, I have to add it to the right. So I'm going to add a 4 here. And now let's complete the square again, this time for the y. This time we have a linear term. So 6, half of 6 is 3, 3 squared is 9. So I'm going to add 9 to both sides. Now I can take my x part, the and what I just did was complete the square, and it's going to be x plus 2 quantity squared plus, how does this one factor, y minus 3 quantity squared 
equals, let's see, 9 plus 7 is 16. So now I can pull out. You can see I've now got this in standard form. So my center is what? Negative 2, positive 3, and my radius is 4. Okay?